Thank you for purchasing one of my digital downloads. Here you'll find easy exercises that were created to increase your skill and confidence and help you become the kind of artist you want to be. These exercises are made up entirely from my imagination to show you how easy it is to simply imply detail with easy to paint brush strokes instead of trying to record the whole story. I'll demonstrate this by painting simple organic flower forms that are designed to help you loosen up your painting style. It is very important to complete the suggested exercises quickly to avoid becoming too detail oriented. Repeat them often until you are completely comfortable with the process and in the doing you will be on your way to becoming the kind of artist who creates works of art instead of one who merely paints pictures. So let's get started. We're going to do another simple organic shape and this time we're going to paint it in such a way that may lead you to believe that it's a lilac just like we're doing in the major demonstration of the bouquet of flowers we're doing today in this DVD. Here's the picture that I have of a lilac. Uh, it gives you an idea of the free form organic uh, shape of this uh, flower form. But look at all the petals on there. If you look at that too hard, you're going to think, uh, that's hard. How will I represent all of those petals? Well, it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. We just are going to make the outline of that and we're going to paint it in a beautiful way so that that's all you need. Same thing, you wanna set your timer, give yourself 15 minutes to complete this exercise. Do it as many times as you need to until you've been able to accomplish all of the values that you want within this one shape. Um, the shape that we're going to do is going to be similar to this. And like I said earlier, you don't have to be a great artist. Uh, just do something organic. There are no straight lines in nature. So don't make anything straight. Even if you do a stem, make sure that you curve it uh, because uh, there are no straight lines in nature. And uh, so this would be a lilac shape and you could have a second one if you wanted to. And uh, it could also then have a, uh, a stem coming from it. So that's pretty easy. I'm going to set this aside and, and not be influenced by it because if I look at this and try to paint my shapes, I'm going to be encouraged to try to paint all of this detail and that's exactly what I don't want to do. Now I'm going to transfer those shapes again simply. There's the center stem. And that's about all we need to do. Now here goes the 20%, lots of water. If you start darker than that, you're gonna have a hard time getting to these next values. Let's add some more pigment and get a little darker. And add a little more pigment and get a little darker. And then finally, we'll add, oh, let's add some Prussian blue to that and get really dark. So those are the values that you're after. First, we'll start by covering this whole shape with a 20% value. And all you're doing is filling up this space with color. So don't be uh, all concerned about trying to uh, get everything perfect. You just need a base to lay the, the next uh, value into and to lay the sunshine into. Don't worry about the lines that you have put here. Just fill up the space. Now we're going to mix a little more pigment into this. 
and try to get another value. And we'll put some sun over on this side with our Quinn Gold. You could use any of your sunny colors uh, that we have here. I just happen to already have this out though, so it's a good and easy choice. Now let's try to get a little darker, more pigment into this same puddle. So we want to try to get, this is how you paint a whole landscape. This is how I create my paintings. I have to be able to go from light to dark. And so these little exercises are excellent ways to perfect your, your skill and your technique. I'll go outside the shape with some paint strokes, uh, and that will add a, a, a look of roughness to it. Now, the palette knife. I love this palette knife. I think if you give yourself enough time, you'll love it too. Once you can see the potential that you have for adding all kinds of texture and line with it. And I love line in my uh, paintings. Now we're going to put some petals on. Look at all those petals. We don't need all of those petals. We just want to imply a few so that you can see that's the texture of the lilac. And I can do this by just using about the last half inch of my palette knife. You have to learn how to hold this and control it. And if you do it enough, you will be able to do it well. Something we do a lot, we get good at. Something we don't do very much, we probably We'll never get very good at. So now I've got these three values and I've got my sun and I'm going to mix up some really dark pigment now and I'll add a little bit of this uh, cobalt blue because it's darker. You can see how it is inherently darker than the manganese blue. So if I add this then I can get to this darker value I'm trying to reach. And these are going to represent the petals that we're seeing, these little brush strokes that are placed randomly. So look, I've got those three now. So pretty good so far. And now we're going to take our liner brush and we're going to create a really dark blue black with a manganese blue and Prussian blue. And we're going to start adding a uh, value and with this playful brush. You just kind of let it dance across your paper and just go on and uh, don't overanalyze what's happening. It's a little wet, so I will get some softness. And that's okay, but if I wanted a crisp line, I had to make sure that I let it dry first. So it's whatever it is that you're wanting. Now I'm going to uh, take a warm color and do the same with this calligraphy on the sunny side of this. That was some pure color that got stuck on the brush. And so when you introduce another color like that, you want to always be able to add it somewhere else. I accidentally uh, had that on my brush, but the eye is going to come looking for it. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that in a few other places. And I think I can make it look pretty good. And it'll add a little sparkle maybe. And these little brush strokes will look like leaves. And we'll put a, a stem, maybe a green one. And this little bead of blue paint here, 
will be a perfect opportunity to let that color run down into the stem. So I'll touch that. And I think that's all we need to do, uh, just to give you the idea of how easy that is then to use your brush, your big brush and your palette knife. And this brush, my uh, this was my 16, my liner brush and my palette knife to create that lilac form.